Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video we are going to be prepping for the weekend and for a party and we're going to be doing some yummy cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's do this. I'm doing something I rarely ever do anymore, and that's make my bed. I figured I'd start today off on the right foot, get my bed made, so I feel a little more productive today, so my bedroom should look pretty when I walk through it, which is rare during the day. I don't know about you guys, but my bedroom is the room that gets forgotten, because I'm just there to sleep and get ready for the day, or get ready for bed, and then I don't really see it anymore. So if I'm in a rush, because I have two boys and a puppy, and I homeschool, then this room just never sees any attention. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more, think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're key. And the same is said for my bathroom. I give my bathroom and bedroom a good base of clean once a week, but that's really all the attention it gets. Otherwise, I have a disaster like this, and when I get a free moment, when I can't stand it anymore, I'll get everything picked up and shoved away. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. So one thing I always get teased about with me being so OCD and everything needs to be perfectly clean and in its place is the fact that I don't take out the trash that often. I don't know why, but like my bathroom trash will build up and build up until there's no more room in it and then I'll finally take it out. Or even like replacing the toilet paper, which usually I know is like kids and husbands get blamed for that and made fun of for that, but that's always been me and it drives everybody crazy. I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign my makeup brushes are something that I do not like cleaning at all. It just really bothers me, so I will kind of let them pile up. But I'm also the person that will never use the same brush twice. I just don't like the thought of dipping it back into my makeup after I've already used it like the day before or whatever. So I either will just have like a massive pile of brushes since I own a lot, or I just won't wear makeup for a while and then I'll be like, okay, it's time to get these brushes clean so we can get back to life. Got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you So I'm gonna get this bathtub sprayed down so it can start disinfecting while I move on to straighten up the shower. It wasn't too bad, I just needed to pick up a couple empties that I had left in there and our washcloths. So with the tub, now I have both the boys using it plus a puppy. <laughs> So I always make sure I scrub the tub out a couple times a week, but now I'm practically doing it every day. Baby without Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know 
shave often and when he does it's just like I said hair everywhere so I have him shave in the shower to cut down on a lot of the mess but it never fails the razor is still full of hair so I spent time there beating it out trying to get all the hair and then of course cleaning it all out of the sink and it was a ton something bigger and now my mind is filled with you oh you know 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 baby with a Justin's birthday he's turning 11 and we're all going out to lunch and then coming back to the house with my parents and one of Justin's friends to have cake and to open presents and then his friends gonna hang out with us for the day I need to get all this cleared out because this will be where the party really takes place until the kids start out to go play it's time it's time to show the way So if you see me walking kind of weird or shuffling, it's because of Jagger. He is either always by my side just to be with me, or he's there to bite my legs and pull on my clothes. So I'm constantly shuffling weird and moving my legs to try to get him off of me. Um, Life of the Puppy is so, so cute and so time consuming at the same time. chili which I'm gonna leave at the end of the video I recorded myself making it and I will leave the recipe in the description box it turned out so good the boys absolutely loved it which is a shock so I'm gonna be making it here again but it was super super simple super yummy so definitely stay tuned to the end if you want to get the good recipe Such a good ride while we call life it can't be real Yeah we keep on dancing to the beat And we keep on moving now we're free
wish I could say I was finally over you. After quite the day of attempting to clean and get everything ready for tomorrow, here we are nighttime and everyone else is in bed and I'm still up cleaning. I still have a lot to do. Um, I didn't film everything so I pretty much cleaned the entire house and I needed to hurry up because I still had to bake and decorate. So I'm just going to tackle this the best I can and move on. For kids who are not supposed to be eating the playroom, I sure found a lot of dishes and trash. And here are all of Jameson's missing socks that he swears he has no idea where they are. We both wanted different things, but letting go just comes easy. You don't know. Why am I the only one who's left in a rain? If I had an option to be someone else, I would. And let go of you. I'm obvious, forget I made this way But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done in my drink at this pace Obviously, I'm so slacking in their playroom. It was so gross. There was crumbs everywhere, so much dust, so much junk that they just do not put away. Uh, I really need to set up a better time in here. It's just the area where the boys go once they're done with schoolwork and anything else that we're doing so then I can try to clean, and it was just such a disaster. I wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth I've got something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat, yeah You know I can't live without you You make me crazy In a good way So come on, baby Let's talk Let's talk about love I'd rather be Come on girl, we can take my car Drinking some beers in your favorite bar Yeah, you know I can't live with So I've had this trash can torn apart and sitting here The boys saw all the parts And yet, here they are using it without the bin inside This was not fun to clean out It was really difficult The vacuum really couldn't get into all of the little like crevices in there I guess because of it being a mechanical trash can there was just a lot of inner working and it was just so difficult to clean out and here's the good enough finished playroom 
I did not finish it last night. I left it and had Josh get it today because I was just far too tired. Last night, I think I went to bed at like 1.30, maybe almost two o'clock. I finally get to do the fun part and the part that stresses me out the most because I'm always so afraid I'm gonna forget to decorate before I go to bed and they'll wake up disappointed or that I forgot something at the store and I won't have time to go get it. So it always makes me feel so much better to get to this point and it's absolutely my favorite thing to do. I always have so much fun decorating for their birthdays. It's the next day in party time. I cannot believe my baby is 11. I don't know where the time went. I don't know how we got to this point. I just wish I could find a way to go back, but here we are. And he had such a great day. He had so much fun with his friends, and he just loved his gifts. You don't know how I shiver inside. And here's Jagger experiencing a frozen washcloth for the first time. He had no idea what to do with it. It was so cute. He still doesn't. It's hilarious. He acts like a cat with it. But he has never experienced actually anything cold, so it was really new for him. Now we're going to make that sweet potato chili. This turned out amazing. It was so simple to make. It's a one pot meal. You just need a pot, a cutting board, and a couple utensils. I used a few more dishes because I have a lot of anxiety. I like to have everything prepared ahead of time so I don't have any missteps. I don't forget something or I'm not wasting time. I let something burn or undercook or overcook. Just anything you can think of, my anxiety will run with it. So I made it a little more complicated than it needed to be. But again, super simple. The boys absolutely loved it. I was not expecting that at all. This is a perfect meal, I think, for any family. Sunshine, you should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. 
So I used the recipe I found on Pinterest. I didn't modify it at all. I will modify it the next time I make it because this turned out to be so much for four people. It was two pounds of ground turkey, which is so, so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything in half next time. That way we only get maybe a few meals out of it and um, it won't be quite as much work. So from this point, once we add everything in, it is just going to cook on the stovetop for about 20 minutes, and that was more than enough time for the sweet potatoes to get tender. I did make one error. Instead of dicing up the sweet potatoes, I kind of chunked them up. I didn't completely read the recipe and just did my own thing. And then after I was like, oh, you know, I don't think that was quite right. And sure enough, it wasn't. But it still turned out perfect. It was still tasted delicious. The potatoes cooked just fine. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. So while that finishes cooking, I'm just going to get this mess cleaned up so after dinner I can just sit back and relax and have nothing to worry about. This weekend was so much fun having Justin's party and his friend over and then being able to make this new recipe for the family and them actually enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. We'd love to have you part of the channel family. I'd love to get to know you all more. I will see you guys next time. Bye.